ladies and gentlemen, Frank Warren for Queensbury Promotions, sponsored by Raynham Steel, Coral, JB Sports and Man Up Gymwear, proudly presents 12 three-minute rounds for the British and Commonwealth Super Featherweight Championship from the XL here in London. Your officials are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control and the Commonwealth Boxing Council. Your three scoring judges at ringside are Mr. Michael Alexander of Doncaster, Mr. Phil Edwards of Preston, and Mr. Marcus McDonnell of Twickenham. Your CBC representative is Stephen Hiscox of Crawley. Your steward in charge is Mr. Charles Giles. Your timekeeper at the bell is Bob Edgeworth. And when the action begins, your referee in charge is Mr. Terry O'Connor of Birmingham. And now to introduce the contestants. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner, stands the British champion with a record of 27 wins, three losses with six KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone, three pounds, five ounces, and tonight he wears the white, red, and yellow shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Dewsbury, Gary Sykes! And across the ring in the blue corner stands the Commonwealth champion, a man whose unbeaten record reads 16 wins with 11 KOs to his name. At yesterday's weigh-in, he scaled nine stone four, and tonight he wears the white and red shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Droma, Leo Wall! Your referee will now give his final instructions to both boxers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the British and Commonwealth Super Featherweight Championship. As I've seen a familiar figure in the corner holding the Commonwealth belt for Liam Walsh, Jonathan Thaxton, who's working in as an assistant in that corner tonight. He was a good fighter. See this huge crowd. There's going to be more than 18,000 in here when it's full. Big atmosphere building up, and this is going to be a fascinating fight. Walsh may be slightly the heavier hitter. So far as one-punch power is concerned, Sykes, though, you just know he's going to keep coming. Yeah, so once Sykes gets a bit, a bit of rhythm in his work, he's had had the back down, he had the, had to put in his place. So Walsh doing the right thing and trying to start fast and dictate the pace. Talking about this fight for, for a while, it's fallen through on two or three occasions for various reasons. Sykes very experienced, four times he's gone the 12 round distance. Been a pro now for eight years. Very popular back home in Dewsbury as well. I know when he won the British title they gave him a civic reception there. Well, bit of a slap there with the left hook of the body but a good angle of the shot there from Ian Walsh. Oh, oh. Cool right to crack him right hand. Oh, what a start! Talked about his one-punch power, and there, vividly illustrated, and how well is Sykes going to recover? Shakes his head a little bit sadly, but he's in trouble in there. And Walsh is going out there looking to finish him right here in this first round. Sykes trying to fight back off the ropes. He really needs to buy a little bit of time, maybe, just to let his head clear. Yeah, doing well to fire back then. Carry Sykes, but Leon Walsh is a good finisher as we're seeing. Just got to be careful not to smother his work there, Leon Walsh with Sykes on the ropes. Good body shot there, though, from Walsh, and again. Great body shot as well, terrific left hook from Walsh. And Sykes is being worked over in this opening round. Well, another right hand there as well, there from Walsh. Anxious times for Gary Sykes, if he can ride through this and come back into this fight, it'll be some achievement. Walsh is putting a lot into this, trying to look to finish him in the first round. It's been 40 seconds since he's been knocked down, and Walsh doing well, trying to keep the pressure on, but had thrown a lot of punches, hasn't he, already? As you said, he'll be careful not to wear himself out, and Sykes doing well to recover. Still looks a little bit unsteady on his legs there, John. Trying to bring in uppercuts, Walsh, to find his way through that high glove defence. Another good left hook from Walsh. Looks really sharp. He just needs to just slow down a little bit, that's it, pick his shots. He's Liam Walsh. Oh, good right hand again there from Walsh. 
a left hook over the top. And the uppercuts, and he's in trouble again. A little bit unsteady, Sykes on his feet. Bravely coming back, throwing punches. He is a super fit boxer. Well, that's the Gary Sykes we all know, isn't it? And the pressure, he'll fire back in bursts of combinations. Well, he's going to get through it, I think. It's been a tonic round for him, though, hasn't it? 10-8 opening round. Oh, good right hand there from, from Sykes. And taking a big right hand right on the bell. Well, that was not according to plan. Well, it's what we expected. The excitement was around that these two not messing around, have a look at each other, going straight down to work. Take a look at the knockdown again. Comes from what? nowhere, doesn't it? Lifts him off his feet even. Now, I think Gary Sykes said it's just his feet a little bit too close together there. And well from, from distance, yeah, good. Angle. See how close his feet were when he got just a little bit off balance? Got a cracking right hand. No resistance to the punch then. You can't dig down to the canvas. Sort of trying to take the power from the shot. Clean off his feet. Gun. You're after sleep. Yeah. You had a good 30 seconds and you switched off. I could fucking see you switch off. Yeah, it was straight through guard. Keep tight now. Right. Keep tight. Keep, keep, tight. Tight. keep your hands up. A little bit of movement. Don't stay with him and throw too much. Right. 12 rounds. And you can... Powerful words in the corner for Gary Sykes. How much damage has been done? Yeah, well, well, to be fair, he done well to see the, see the round three. He had the one minute 43 seconds to go, and he and he, he stayed in there. He didn't look too hurt. Still a little bit unsteady on his legs, but survived. And Walsh was trying to pick his punches, to be fair. And this is where Walsh, that's good for Walsh there. Not rushing his work, not going up too hell for leather, but still keeping the pressure on Sykes. Vaunted fitness of Sykes will be called to account now. He can fight his way back into this. It will be some achievement. Just needs a bit more head movement, doesn't he, uh, Gary Sykes? Walsh can switch it at the moment, fighting out of the South Southpaw stance. A very good win on his record with the benefits of hindsight against Anthony Crawler. Yeah, brilliant win, wasn't it? Looking for a fight for a world title now in January. Sykes trying to fire back, there's a big body shot from Walsh who tries to wind up a big overhand right, this time Sykes able to see it and evade the danger. A oh, good right hand from Sykes, I was just about to say he's, he's starting his attacks on too far out, so he's sort of telegraphing the shot. He's just like a little half a step in, maybe a faint before he does his work there, Gary Sykes. But he's got to try and get that rhythm in his, in his work, trying to get punches and combinations and then spinning off Walsh so at the moment. Just standing in front of Walsh and pulling into his hands very nicely. Walsh turning his man there in that previous exchange, just clipping him as he did so, drawing instantaneous applause from his brothers and a nice little sweet uppercut inside as Walsh lands a flurry of punches, uh, Sykes rather lands a flurry of punches, but no great power in them. Oh, lovely uppercut again there with the front hand this time from, from Leon Walsh. Well, he done well with that first uppercut, Leon Walsh. He threw it and covered up tight, knowing it was going to be an assault straight away from, from Sykes. His body shot's got to be starting to take that effect. Looks almost uh, a division heavier, doesn't he, Walsh? He's big for the weight. Yeah, but so is Gary Sykes, man. I think he struggled to make the weight as well in the past, for sure. Won the Commonwealth title in only his 10th fight, Liam Walsh. This is his 17th now. It's better from Sykes. That's it. See, punching in combination, straight shots. He missed with the first two, got him with the last one. Trying to go to work to the body of Walsh. Just can't stand in front of Walsh there, Sykes, when he throws his punches. Got to keep spinning him, keep turning him. Needs to be cute. Oh, he's caught him there. Walsh walked into a right hand. But he's come back well with interest. Just more snap, isn't there, in the punches of Walsh. Good round. Yeah, really good round. Another round for Walsh. On my card. The Sykes getting a little bit more rhythm in his work coming at the end of the round, and that'll be a positive sign for him. Bit of a graze on the forehead of Walsh. Let me tell you this, there's a million dollars in the race still. Back at some place. Work in that corner for Mick Williamson, the renowned cut man in the sport. Get too eager. Get too eager. Do you want to sell? Oh, cracking body shot. There was a few of those, one there in that round. 
I think that was the attack that she launched after he'd walked into a really sweet right hand from from Sykes. Yeah, but Sykes not having enough success, had, had about two or three little bits of success, but most of the round it was Liam Walsh who was dictating everything. Landed with it, it was just a bit more snap at his punch, a bit more weight in his punches. Looking good. Third round of this 12 rounder. Sykes, the British champion against the Commonwealth champion Liam Walsh. Four British titles up for grabs here tonight, and I'm sure there's somebody out there who can confirm it one way or the other. But Danny Flexen, correspondent of Boxing News, tells me that he's been told that it's the first time ever that there have been four British titles on one night. I wouldn't doubt that for a second. I can't think of one off the top of my head. Well, it's certainly not happened, I don't think, in my time. But maybe back in the mists of time somewhere. I know it's fairly misty of where I started, but not quite, uh, not quite all the way back. Sykes under pressure again. Body shots have got to be taking a bit of a toll. Well, Sykes is moving his shoulders, but he's not really moving his head. Oh, clipped again with that left hook come up a cut. So he's sort of shifting his shoulders back and forth, but all that's doing is making his, his hands you know, open up gaps in the defence. He's got to need to move the head side to side, make Walsh look for the target, make him really try and find it. Didn't really get into the fight at all, did he, Sykes, before he got tagged? And since then, well, it's uh, as though Walsh has taken command, but he's trying to put pressure on now, Sykes, to get through with a, a right hand to the jaw of Walsh. Well, we've seen there, what Sykes is, he's a rhythm fighter, so he needs to get some, some rhythm and a little spark in his work, a start of, of a, to, to produce that rhythm. Then when he gets that, the momentum keeps him going. That's what makes him a, a hard fighter to, to fight against, hard fighter to beat. Some good wins on his record. And he's got a... He's got a real fighting heart, and he did get off the, the floor to beat John Kays, didn't he, back in yeah. May? Was it the second round he went down? Yeah, he's, just, he's, a, he's a tough kid. That first knockdown won't deter him at all from his plan of what he's trying to do. Pride of the Fleckheaton Amateur Club. Rallying away there, Sykes, but nothing landing. Inside of the club, good body shot though from Walsh in return. Quality stuff is coming from Walsh, isn't it? That's the difference, just a, a bit more snap, a bit more weight in the shots of Walsh over Sykes. Good body shot again here from Walsh. Again, a round where Sykes was having a little bit of success, just lost a bit of that rhythm in it. Walsh now. Slowly taking over again. Throwing plenty of shots with power. Good round again. Yeah. Sykes battling his way back into it a little bit more, maybe, in that third. Yeah, but not that's still not enough for me, John, I don't think. I think he had a, he had a good little spell, yeah, but I still think the quality came boxing. from. Three rounds three gone. gone. Barry yeah, giving them more all, more all to Walsh so far in that first round knockdown, the 10 8 round in the opener. When you're in a low flinch, keep your chin down, keep your hands tight, don't punch with him, you're giving the man a chance. When you've when you got, you when you got your bit of distance, when you've got your bit of distance, you're taking the man to pieces without that problem. Just keep taking the pieces, keep your distance, keep taking the pieces. Later on, we'll, we'll come on strong and beat the share. Oh, oh, Into the fourth round now. Sykes, trainer, you might have heard, hearing from both corners there, and he was saying, don't stand and trade with him. That's when you're getting into trouble. It's hard, it's hard isn't it? Because he's got to you know, Walsh, every time he moves forward, Walsh pings out that jab or 
a left hand or a right hand depending which stance he's at at the time he's switching or isn't the above from orthodox to southpaw so that makes his own little difficulty in, in itself but whilst he's a side side needs to throw in combination he's got to commit himself and follow through with it if he misses with the first one he's still going to keep throwing those punches but the, the main thing for Walsh is when, um, for side side is when he gets Walsh anywhere near a rope he needs to just take a half a step to the side but for me it's been a good display from so far for Walsh he's nice and controlled every time he throws a punch more than not and keeping his hands up nice and high elbows tucked in nice and tight expecting the onslaught of, of the fast flurries from Sykes we said that he's a comfortable switch hitter Walsh now as you see he's fighting out of the orthodox stance Walsh was uh, two to one on when I checked the prices earlier on for this fight to say for the, for the big gambler somebody who's putting a, a lot of money on to win at relatively short yeah. odds that looked to me to be the bet of the night yeah probably gary sykes was quoted i think at best price 15 to 8. there again lovely combination from walsh and then doing what Gary Sykes should be doing when he goes forward, taking that step to the side. You can't fault the efforts, can you, there from, from Gary Sykes? And really committing himself to come forward, but just walking on to stuff. has got to do something somehow to get Walsh out of his rhythm hasn't really landed with anything significant to put Walsh under real pressure so far oh, good success there though just a pulling the right hand over the jab of that's better Walsh and again with the body shots the solid looking hooks underneath the elbows of Walsh I see it's been a a good display from Walsh so far. Got good concentration, but you can let that concentration wane with someone like Gary Sykes. He'll jump on you every time, but for me, it's another wrong for Walsh. So still a shutout on oh, Barry's you know, scorecard. Appleby, right hand left up, then close the distance and drop down. Yeah. yeah. Pop, pop. Right hand left up, close the distance, drop down. Could you feel him go from that body yeah. shot? I'm not saying it was hurt, 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 but he felt it, yeah. He felt it. He's, not, he's tight at this weight, son. All right, feel good? Yeah. Look, another little wet. Educated pressure now. And I say educated because I don't want the reckless abandon of the first round. Yeah. Alert, educated pressure. Well, it depends you keep yourself tucked yeah. in. Get it next round, Mike. Yeah. Please, Liam. He's yeah. doing yeah. it, he's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it religiously. He's carrying like... Well, Julian McGowan picked up what we picked up there. I think, Barry, those two body shots, two hooks to the body from Sykes, and Walsh didn't crumple exactly, but he certainly felt the weight of them. Yeah, well, you, you, it's no secret how, how tight for the weight that Walsh is, so, you know, you would suspect that a body, body assault would be the, the preferred option, trying to wear him down, but it should have been happening from earlier on in the fight, I, think, I feel. Significant gap has opened up surely on the scorecards between these two fighters. The Commonwealth champion Liam Walsh on the right hand side of your picture from Cromer in Norfolk. Yeah. If you're just joining us, you're watching Freeview with us on Box Nation. That will stop at eight o'clock. So if you want to see the big fights coming up after this, then go to boxnation.com and follow the necessary process to register for the big fights coming up later. Yeah, it's been all well shown, except for the third round, maybe we could have given the sights, but apart from that, it's been all, all Leon Walsh, really, just a little bit too sharp. Yeah, third was close, wasn't it? I thought maybe that he just outworked him, possibly. I know the quality was coming from Walsh, but Sykes th certainly threw yeah, more. Yeah, oh, well, sure. He's having bits of success in the round. In every round. Educated pressure, what, that's what he's been called to deliver. 
And he needs to so, show some real British champions pedigree now to force his way back into this. That's what he needs, there's a little bounce in his step. We had a few feints in there, Gary Sykes. Just trying to draw the lead there of Leon Walsh and then let the hands go. Amazing atmosphere around the Excel Arena tonight. British, Britain's got talent in, a, in another of the exhibition centres here. And there's been a big Lego convention, I'm told, so it's been absolutely rocking. All sorts here. Two years old to 92 years old. <laughs> Lovely bit of work there from Walsh, double jab and just spinning off in the behind Scary Sykes. Boxing well in this role, nice and controlled. Just frustrating Sykes, isn't he? Yeah. Jabbing, taking a little half a step back. Oh, good, good right hand, left, right hand, sorry. It's hard to tell, he switches stance so often. Had to tell which backhand it is, but a nice right hand it was there from Walsh. There's, there's a quote which caught my eye was given me from uh, Gavin Deacon, a former Midlands champion who sparred with Liam Walsh. He said he felt like a kid trying to swat a swarm of wasps. And Sykes is taking a really crunching left hook to the body there off Walsh and but firing back to Sykes' credit. Yeah, brave and committed, but at the moment he's not winning these rounds, Gary Sykes. But he can't get close enough to mount a real attack. He's got a full punch from mount the range. Another 10-9 round yeah. given by Barry for Liam Walsh. It's been all for the Norfolk man so far with that 10-8 round in the opening in the opening three minutes when he had Sykes down. That's how we've got it. Three judges watching on. Marcus McDonnell. You know Michael, this Alexander and Phil now, Edwards. Like, You've got you to work him now. He's, he, he had a great fourth and you just give him that round. You turn the screw, you turn the screw and you give him the round, right? At some point, we have to take a little bit more risks because you're tired, but you ain't throwing something. You've got to go for it. Well, he must know that the rounds are slipping away. But the corner just told him as much, John, really. So, you know, you've got to start taking some risks now because whatever you're trying to do is just not quite working. And it's not, it's not by much, you know, he's not, getting, he's not getting battered, but just a little bit just slower to the mark than, than Walsh. So it's not a noted big one-punch knockout artist, though. Only with those six stoppages in his 27 wins. That's oh. more like it. A good body shot, though, from Walsh. Lovely right hand, but Sykes come right back into his face. That's the thing, what Sykes is so effective in, swarming over you, the work rate, you know, make, making you have to just keep your hands up and not work with him, but he works so much, so hard. It's just, he's not been able to get close enough to do that. He did in that little assault. For the best part, Walsh just a little bit too sharp for him. He come up a little bit more committed in this round, Gary Sykes. I'm trying to get his foot on the outside, as you, you could see then. Really taking a big step over there. And to cope with the South Force stance. With technical information, and technical tactics from Barry Jones. It's better from better from Sykes. Needs more of that. Yeah, no, it's, it, it's not clean, but it's, he's busier, isn't he? That's, that, that's so far this wrong. He's the one on the front foot, looking to force it. Good again from Walsh. That's all he needs to do. Just keep out of trouble and if he boxes his way through as he is doing now he's going to win this title but if Walsh is tight as everybody says at the weight how much of a factor might oh. that be the further the fight goes that's a quality left hook a beautiful left hook there from Walsh the Sykes hasn't, hasn't budged from those body shots to his credit but the thing is, Walsh, uh, Walsh had, Sykes had maybe put enough pressure on Walsh to maybe let that weight tell to this point anyway. Oh, that's good work there from Sykes. Firing back in in the sixth round, and he has stepped it up, Gary Sykes. That's a right hand. Glancing blow, but a scoring shot. Oh, lovely right hand there off, off Liam Walsh. Really well timed. 
into the orthodox stance now, Walsh. Sykes diving in behind his punches and again not able to land anything clean. This time he does. Yeah, good right hand over the top there, and he went low and threw the right hand over the top. More success for Sykes in this round, maybe his best round so far. Yeah, he's been a bit more committed, hasn't he? A little bit, almost a bit more head movement. Maybe he senses, maybe he senses that just a little bit of the energy and the power and the snap is going out of Walsh's work. Perhaps the toll of the pace is just starting to be felt. Enough. Better round. You're making it yes, the first one they've given though. Give it to Gary Suggs. Walsh was still picking him off a little bit, but I think the, the work rate, some good shots landed there from Suggs. Remember what we talked about at the beginning. It's a British style, no risks. So don't, don't, don't give you enjoy yourself. Keep that fucking nail down. More than one voice in that corner, which isn't always a necessarily a good thing. Graham Everett giving instructions and uh, the brothers having a word at the same time. No, it's usually not, but I, it's something that he's had all throughout his career, isn't it? It's something he's used to, I don't think... Uh, We'll probably find it strange, but it was just one voice. They're in the process of uh, building a house, I gather, and all three families are going to live together. <laughs> Couldn't think of anything worse. I've not met your brother yet, Barry. I'll uh, remind him of that if <laughs> I ever do. Again, Sykes has started brightly in the seventh. The second half of the fight. Sykes super fit. Right hand was low. See, no one's really landed anything, I know yet, but with Sykes throwing the punches in combinations, it gives the impression that he's do, doing the work. We can't get picked off coming forward. Like that. That's beautiful there from Wolf. That's a solid jab as well, you know, it's not just a range finder. He steps in behind that punch. Good power in either side, hasn't it? Interesting to know whether he is truly ambidextrous. He certainly seems to have real snap yeah. on both right hand and left hand with the jab. It's good from Sykes. Referee's not had a lot to do in this fight, has he? It's been a, fought in a very clean, free-flowing sort of way. Yeah, it was always going to be that way, weren't he? Two honest pros. Uh, Walsh, uh, Sykes not landing with any loads clean work, but Sy uh, Walsh not doing a lot of work himself. He's kept him quiet in this round. Do you think Sykes is outworking him a bit at this stage yeah. in the fight? Again, it's, it's a, they're only glancing blows. It's, it's still the better shots are coming from, from Walsh. But he's not throwing enough. That's good, though. He needs to keep that jab pumping out, doesn't he, Ian Walsh? Just missed with that left hand there. Or right, yeah, left hand, right hand. That's a quality good. right uppercut. Sykes showing he's got a good chin though, took it well. Good left hook, thuds home from Walsh. Oh, good right hand back there in response from Sykes. Lonsdale belt up for grabs, that treasured trophy. From a good engine here, Gary Sykes, relentlessly coming forward. Trying to wear Walsh down. Corner trying to get Sykes to raise his game again. Producer eye-catching flurry in the closing seconds of the round. Didn't really happen. How did you score that one, Barry? And close. I just give it edge Sykes, I think, with the work rate, John, to be honest. But it was a close round. I think, all, I think the quality came from Walsh when he did let his hands go when he did throw punch when he did land but I think Gary Sykes there just out outworked him I think out hustled him seventh and the third have certainly been close rounds
There's some of the action from that round. Is that right up a cup from Walsh? Yeah, good shot. One as clean as what we first thought, but it was still a good shot. He got some lovely moves. There he goes. He got some lovely moves, Emily Leon Walsh. Really has. So couple skillful. A couple of hooks and then brought the attack up through the middle. Enjoy yourself, Liam. Liam, this one. Time to turn on the style, maybe. Enjoy yourself, they're saying. Sykes has clearly got to win everything from here on in if he's going to really get a chance of winning this on points. And even then, it might not be enough. Yeah, no, maybe not, yeah. See, the difference is Sykes has to be really busy, almost put throwing punches non-stop for two minutes where Leon Walsh just has to be a little bit more busy that's all just over 10 minutes more of free view for you on Box Nation big fights coming up later on Frankie Gavin against Bradley Skeet Billy Joe Saunders against Chris Eubank Jr Frank Bullioni in action and also Derek Chisora and Tyson Fury top of the bill if you want to see those you're gonna to have to go to boxnation.com and register your subscription with us to see the rest of this excellent bill here at the Excel Arena. It's good from Sykes again. Yeah, good, yeah. Desire, isn't it? He needed that little assault there. I thought he'd just been a little bit picked off a little bit for the first minute of that round, but yeah, that double right hand was a good shot. Binding around the right wrist has worked loose. Maybe the referee will want that tidied up before too long. Been a good pace, hasn't it? Without being frantic, it's been a good, good, solid pace. Well, Liam Walsh really went for it in that opening round, and Terry O'Connor is indeed looking for some running repairs. Just wondered at the time whether he was just a little bit too frantic to try and look to take him out. And as we come into the closing stages here, just a hint that the maybe the guy with the just a little bit fresher now might be Sykes. Yeah, so Sykes looks like he got, he got more in the tank at the moment, but like I said, Leon Walsh doesn't need to be working the same pace as, as, as Sykes. But he's, he's a sharp hitter, he can stop Sykes in his tracks. So he just, but just needs to be a little bit more busy, he needs to be a little bit more active with the jab. He's difficult to tie down, isn't he? All that effort from Sykes on the ropes there and didn't land anything really clean. And then that lovely straight right hand lead from Liam Walsh, one quality shot probably had more effect than the whole of the Sykes attack. And again, there were just three jabs as well. Leon Walsh, even though, again, Sykes has been a lot busier in this round, I still, at this time, I favoured Walsh with the cleaner work the first minute and his last 30 seconds or so as well. Oh, that's better from Sykes. Good uppercut, right hand. And again, with the right hand over the top. So committed, isn't he, Gary Sykes? You've got to give his credit. Freedom, tough in Dewsbury. Rugby League country. And fighting country as well. Oh. Tan from Walsh straight low. And a big right hook as well from Walsh. So looks felt the power of it. We're still fighting back though, John. Finding round his gloves come loose now, and they, some of these gum shields come out. I think it might be Walsh's. Yeah, that was no, that was a right uppercut, I think, from. Uh... Good round again. That was a right uppercut, that was. Right on the bell from uh, Liam Walsh, and I think it was Gary Suggs' gum shield that went out. Flew Suck across the ring. Did you not feel it? Awesome. Oh, I, I, I'm not having fucking ones on the whiskers, that's silly. Well, slightly uh, anxious faces in that Walsh corner. It didn't quite pan out as expected. This was the big attack from Walsh, but Sykes came right back at him. Yeah, he did, really did. That's the thing with Sykes. Every time you think he's hurt or or being old box, he'll fire back with fast combinations, just keep himself in the fight. But for me, I just, I just again, just favoured Walsh for the cleaner work. Bring it in. Just change your Walsh has taken the first five rounds. The first one, of course, was a 10-8 on Barry's card. 
couple of rounds there after to Sykes and now Walsh again picking up round eight so well ahead on points yeah he is and I think except you know that last round was close to maybe maybe the third round could have gone to Sykes but you've got to have you've got to have Walsh ahead haven't you with a cleaner work oh good jab again there from Walsh switching to Southpaw another set of problems for Sykes to contend with Come up with a bit of a sprint to this step, haven't he, in this round, Walsh? <laughs> nice left hook from Walsh. Fighting well out of that clinch. Sykes being implored by his car at corner to keep working, keep throwing the shots. Yeah, and he and to be fair, he's trying to, isn't he? Just finding how to hit the target. Clean enough. But he, he's so he's so brave and so tough and so fit. It's Gary Sykes. Ian Walsh was going to be right lined up to fought Ricky Burns for the world title at one stage. A couple of years back, had a car crash, didn't he? And it never happened. Maybe he'll still move on to another level, but this is a tough fight for him. Yes, yeah, it's an absolute Can't come get his sights out. His work rate, his commitment, he'll keep coming forward. And he'll build on any success. But look at the, 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 the footwork there from, from Leon Walsh. It's like the uh, Matador and the Bull, wasn't it? Yeah, right wrong tough. footing Sykes. Nice little left hook, sorry, from the South Ball stance there from, from Leon Walsh. Body shot there as well, finish that combination off. Oh, he's starting to pick him off here. Variety of shots. Sykes bravely tries to respond. The quality from Walsh in this round. I think it's just the accuracy of Walsh's work. He's just like struggling to get out of the way. Oh, he's hurt there. Right took it a straight left. And he's looking to take him out. Sykes is going to have to dig deep here. And he's in dangerous territory. The referee's keeping a very close look now at Gary Sykes. Liam Walsh winning this round and winning it very clearly indeed and at one stage it looked as though Sykes was going to go again but he's bravely stayed on his feet trying to fight back but that's another big round for Liam Walsh yeah the fitness and the, the good chin he has keep his keep that strength in his legs to keep him up the trouble tired now he looks tired back in his corner wobbling and a massive round there for Liam Walsh well he's starting to look like a beaten man now Oh, he almost went, didn't he? Right hand, then the left. Yeah, right, right hook over the guard, and the straight left was the shot. He and shows he's got a chin, doesn't he? He really has. Because to be fair, the wall, she jumped right on him, but it's Gary Sykes who takes a shot. Fit, fit lad keeps his, on his feet. Well, let's take a look at the scorecard. That's how Barry's got it. A six-point margin now in Liam Walsh's favour looking as though he is heading to win this British title to add to his Commonwealth belt. The question now, I think, is surely only whether or not Gary Sykes is going to be able to survive the distance here because it looks as though Liam Walsh is surely going to win this fight now and just a question of whether it's going to be points or is he going to be able to find the punches and the bigger tactic to force a stoppage yes yeah, so, well we thought that in the first round didn't we <laughs> and here we are in round 10 but a bit more tired than now isn't he Gary Sykes that's a problem yeah there's a laboured look about his work now so brave the right hand there though from from Sykes. The problem you have with Sykes is that he, when he has that success, nothing's shaking up Walsh. You can't see him getting the stoppage, can you? He just... It'd be an astonishing turnaround now if Sykes were somehow able to find something to unhinge Walsh at this stage. He'll keep trying, he'll keep plugging away. The problem he's had is he hasn't been able to get close enough to the target to let his hands go. And then maybe he needed a few feints to get in there or a bit more head movement, but hasn't worked out for him tonight. We're coming so up now far. towards 8 o'clock and 
shortly the free view time on box nation will end for you if you want to continue watching the conclusion of this fight and of course the big bouts to follow including billy joe saunders against chris eubank jr and derek chisora and tyson fury get on to boxnation.com and subscribe now big response i'm told and if you're trying to do that just be patient you will get there keep on trying and you will see those big events later on big response big demand we'll get there we'll cope with it oh, lovely uppercut there inside a nice little sneaky uppercut there from from walsh Gary Sugg still being competitive. But again, all the better work is still, still coming from, from Leon Walsh. Up on his toes, trying to show how fresh he is, Walsh. And Fox good. Fox really good tonight. Good head movement, good lateral movement. Good. He picked his punches very well. And he's winning emphatically against a good fighter. Yeah, he is. At, at this bridge level, Gary Sugg is as good as it gets. And, and Leon Walsh is is a mile ahead in the scorecards, even if you were to give him a couple of those closer rounds. It's still got to be a mile ahead. Oh, good work again. Quality body shots from Walsh. But look at Walsh, uh, look at Sykes, he's taking the shots and, and he's hurt. He's still fighting back. Oh, brilliant there from Sykes. Proper fighting man, isn't he, Gary Sykes? Coming out of this with a lot of credit, he's taking some real quality shots. There's another one. Beautiful uppercut from Walsh. You can hear him, can't you? He's shouting and he's throwing the punches, Sykes. Using every bit of energy just to try and stay in there. Oh, lovely uppercut there again from Leon Walsh. Doesn't want to get out of this fight. And Gary Sykes, though, thinking what might have been, but just doesn't look as though he's got the skill level to really put Walsh under the pressure yeah, that's needed find no, the see. shots that are needed right. to turn this no, one around you would have thought he had the same the, the right sort of style to give Walsh problems and we all thought he would have and he just hasn't got, got close enough to let his hands go and the shot selection from Leon Walsh tonight has been really superb really has subscribe now there's how to do it boxnation.com Look at this, brilliant. This, again, the sort of shot selection, everything. It jabs, uppercuts, hooks to the body. And little steps around the target as well. He doesn't stay in front of you, does he, Leon Walsh? Just takes little steps, little adjustments. Fighting hard to fire back, but <laughs> you just see there, Gary Sykes, for his credit, always fires back. Liam Walsh against a peak Ricky Burns would have been a very interesting fight. Moving now into the 11th round. Surely Walsh must be six, seven points ahead. A reminder of the judges who are sitting in adjudication on this one. Marcus McDonnell, Michael Alexander, and right next to our commentary position, seeing it from the angle that we're seeing it, Phil Edwards. Oh, good right hand there from Sykes, and then just stood there and had to take a jab off back himself. He's done that a few times, hasn't he? When he's had a little bit of success, he just stayed in front of, of Leon Walsh, when he should have really took a step to the side. Sykes coming, ploughing forward, head-hunting, looking for just one big shot, which might still change it round. But Walsh looks fresh, doesn't he? I think he had a, a rocky spell, round about yeah. round six and seven, yeah. but he got through that, so that was the big effort from Sykes. Walsh got through it, refound his rhythm, and uh, now he's going well. Yeah, he's just been able to keep, keep Sykes, not quiet, I would say, but not as busy as he would like to be, not as... And it's been with the jab, he's been jabbing to the body a lot, especially in the southpaw stance, and that's just been stopping Sykes in his tracks. I think he's looked more effective as a southpaw than as an orthodox fighter, yeah. right? Yeah, I think so. Didn't miss by a lot. Sykes whistling through with an attempt at big left hand.
growling as he throws every shot, Sykes. Yeah, really committed, isn't he, with his work, Sykes. But it just doesn't look as though it's going to be there tonight. You know, Walsh just a little bit sharper, isn't he? That's, that's in, in, ev in every department. Not by much, but just enough to make a big difference. Lost his title previously to Gary Buckland, now the British champion again, but it looks as though it's going to change hands. And that Lonsdale belt is destined for Norfolk. Doubling up with the right hand, that's, that's even more success with that, that little combination than anything else. Gary Sykes tonight. Oh, a lovely right-hand lead from Sy uh, from Walsh. Yeah, the weight of the shot, didn't it? Again, with the uppercut in close there from Leon Walsh. Hasn't really been moved at any stage, has he, Walsh? He's not looked as though he's been in big trouble at any point in this fight, and that's going to be another round in the back. Yeah, definitely another round there for Leon Walsh. But to get his credit, Leon Walsh hasn't committed himself. He's now with an uppercut. Huh? Didn't go, didn't, didn't go too far forward. Like, didn't want to give himself too much going there. Yeah, he sucks. Don't make a mistake. Yeah? Can still be dangerous. No mistakes. Don't make a mistake. That is the instruction, and the reason being that he is a long, long way in in front now. Liam Walsh. You see that eight, nine, ten, eleven. If there was any danger of it slipping away, with Sykes clawing his way back in those mid rounds. Well, he's not been able to do it down the stretch, and we wondered whether or not Walsh was going to be struggling with the fitness as we got towards the championship rounds, but he still looks sharp. Yeah, he hasn't made the work rate of Gary Sykes a fact that he's kept it, again, he's kept him quiet, just picking him off before he's come in. So he's kept it at a, a pace which is suitable for him. Left eye of Liam Walsh is just closing a little bit. Some of those right hands clearly have got through. Sykes needs a huge round and he needs to get Walsh out of there. Surely it's not going to happen. Does Walsh really want to go close and trade like that? Well, he lands with an uppercut though, there's Gary Sykes, and, that's, and, and again stands in front of Walsh and has to take a right hand back himself. Now or never for Gary Sykes, he's got to find the big shot from somewhere. Oh, lovely left hook there from Walsh. Powerful body shots from both men, but Walsh, you sense, just hitting the harder as he has done, I think, through much yeah. of the fight. There's another good left to the body and yeah. another. He's, he's, he's got some good body shots in this round, Liam, uh, Liam Walsh. But to get his side's credit, he's taken some good, good body shots all fight and he hasn't slowed him down one bit. Tremendously fit there, Gary Sykes. Oh, that's good there from Sykes. Solid body shots again, though, from Walsh. Who's going to be able to pile it on, then, in the last 90 seconds or so of this fight? Oh, lovely straight right hand there from Liam Walsh. Sykes didn't get ground, though, did he? No, not at all. Body shot again. Oh, good from Sykes, and coming up with the right hand also. He caught him with that right hand. Walsh takes it well, though. Sykes having some success in this last period. As the blood flows now from his nostril. Oh, lovely combination there from Liam Walsh. Look at beautiful stuff. Good performances from Liam Walsh. He really has been. Box of herbs tonight. He is a talent. He's had a sort of a stop-start career, but he's still... Only 28, and maybe still time to move up to the next level. Yeah, and for me, you know, I got him winning massively, as you know, and I think, you know, if he does get the decision tonight, he's beat the very good British champion in Gary Sykes. Sykes, remember, down in that first round. Great display of bravery from the Yorkshireman. The quality has been with Liam Walsh. Still trying to find big shots. Some good reflexes and lateral movement from... On Walsh. Oh, the two swinging hooks yeah. whistled through thin air, and another one. Lovely jab, and again. Got a great jab, don't use it enough. For me, Liam Walsh. A beautiful jab, and he lets it go. 
Again in this round, maybe Sykes having the more success when Walsh elects to throw out of the orthodox stance, but there we go. The referee leads the applause for a very good performance from Liam Walsh and a committed response from the British champion Gary Sykes, who surely as a result of that is now once more going to be the former British champion, Liam Walsh, being chaired around the ring by one of his brothers. I think that's Michael who's doing the carrying job. And he boxed very well tonight, Barry. Yeah, he really did. He's a class act. He took his time, obviously had the power to hurt Gary Sykes. He went for it in that first round, realised that he couldn't. He took his time in the second round, picked his punch as well. His shot selection tonight has been nothing short of excellent. Uppercuts, body work, behind the jab, spinning off as well. It's been really good. Sykes, Sykes maybe just went out that little bit too gung-ho in the first in the first round and just paid the price he was caught squared up and he was trying to make that aggressive start and it counted against him yeah and i think i think he was punching from too far out of, out of the distance was gary sykes and i think that's a lot to do with the Walsh. i think you know he, he's, he's very sharp hard to hit clean as well you know good lateral movement you've got to give Liam Walsh the credit for that but gary sykes did what we knew he was going to do be fully committed came out had some successes even some of the wrongs he lost he had enough success to maybe no, I almost get an argument, but then Walsh would just close that round there with a nice little combination and nick it. And, but all in all, you know, a dominant display really from Liam Walsh. And as I said already, against a really good British champion in Gary Sykes. Yeah, Gary Sykes taking credit for going the distance and deserves that as well. But the acclaim, rightly, is from the Norfolk fans for Liam Walsh. And in a moment or two, we're going to hear from our master of ceremonies, Mark Burdis, just waiting for the. I think we've got it now. I think we've got the points tally to be given. Let's get it from Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for both boxers who gave their all. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecard. We have a unanimous decision. Judge McDonnell, 118-109. Judge Alexander, 119-108. Judge Edwards, 118-111, the winner and now the British and Commonwealth Super Featherweight Champion in the blue corner from Chroma, Liam Wall. Big margin ultimately for a fight which prior to its beginning people thought was going to be close and could have been very competitive.